It's the Joel Shit Show featuring Joel Shit. Hi, welcome to the Joel Shit Show. I'm your host, Joel Shit. So, I forgot to do this this morning. I was going to do it on my way to the gym, on my way to Pilates. But, I forgot to bring my camera with me. So now I'm doing it on the way to Nick City. Speaking of which, guess what I did last night? I went to Nickel City. KSU had a show, and there were four bands playing. The first was Corpus Colossum. They were entertaining. They had an accordion, and they had the thing with the glasses, like water glasses, where you put your hands over the glasses to make them make different noises, like on that episode of The Simpsons, where the guy does the Simpsons theme with his hands over the glasses, so it had that glass sound. I don't know what that's called. No one seems to know what that's called. I texted someone and asked him, and he didn't get back to me. But I think that's more a shortcoming of my envy. So, I have an envy phone, and if I want to text someone, I can say, you know, a new text message, and then in the two box, I put, wow, why am I going this way? Because I'm a distracted driver, that's why. God damn it. Okay, I'm going to go, well, I'll figure it out. I'll make this work. So, uh, anyway, anyway, the envy you can type in the name of the person you want to text and assuming it's in your address book it finds ooh did i make it did i make it no son of a bitch i missed the light boy this is going to be the worst episode ever ah oh, what a load of crap ooh maybe i'll get the light to change cuz no one's coming maybe i'll get the oh, there's someone waiting already well i guess i'm going to do one of these things where i get over all right, fine, fine. So anyway, <laughs> oh man, this episode's gonna be long. I'm just telling you right now, this episode's gonna be long. Of course, it's YouTube. You can tell. It tells you. You know how long this video is gonna be. I don't. <laughs> so, with the NB, it tells you. You start to type in the name of the person you're gonna text, and if it's in your address book, it suggests it. So what you do is, is you hit the arrow. Uh, the down arrow to highlight the name you want and hit OK. Now, if you actually type in the person's name and hit OK, then it acts like it's sending a text message, and it tells you it's sending a text message, but it's really not. So what that means is, let's say I'm sending a text message to Gordon, and I type in G-O-R-D-O-N. I, if, I, if I push down, it'll and highlight the name Gordon that it's suggesting and hit OK, it'll send it to Gordon. All I have to really type is G-O because he's the first G-O name in my address book. However, if I just type G-O-R-D-O-N and hit OK, it sends it to whatever Gordon is as if that's the address, that's the recipient. It doesn't, it's not a shortcut for the thing because I didn't highlight it um, below. So, it, and the thing is, I'm sure people don't realize that that's what that means, and I'm sure that text messages don't get sent. Because I sent several text messages last night where, just on a goof, I was like, yeah, I think I'm going to just type the whole name and hit OK. And none of, them, none of those recipients replied, and I figured out why. It's because those messages didn't get delivered. So anyway, Corpus Colossum are great. And they also had one of those old-time 1800 storybook things where there's a hand crank that, you know, you, you're standing over it and you're cranking it like this, and it uh, sounds like a music box. It's making music box noise, and it's also turning a story. So like there's this, like there's a screen at the bottom, and the the the, the, the screen um, shows what the story is. So they did that too. It was just very entertaining. Uh, the second act was called Love Language, or The Love Language, and it was alright. I don't remember anything about them except that they were loud, and I think that the sound was mixed as well as it could be. It's just the acoustics were not set up for a band like that. I think there were just too many things going on, too many instruments and singing, so you just couldn't hear anything. And that's not really anybody's fault, it's just that room isn't designed for, for music. The third act was Headlights, who were from Illinois, and headlights are great. They um, have this woman singer who also drums, and they sounded absolutely amazing. 
I mean, I, I can't wait for them to come back. I hope we have stuff from them at the radio station. I'm going to play it because it looked really good. And I just barely entered the intersection before the pedestrian did, so I did not have to yield. That was a close one. So, then the last act was the headliner, Picture Atlantic. And uh, they were fine. They had a similar problem. Uh, as the second act that there was too many instruments and there was too much noise going on and there was no way that they could fit everything into the room in terms of sound. Although this time I didn't see the sound guy really trying that hard. I think the sound guy kind of gave up. But uh, that's just my impression. So that doesn't mean that's what really happened. So, eh, let's see. I don't want to go to Basque. That's too far. Lee is too far. Oh my god, I might as well take 17 then. Wow, I totally went the wrong way. Ugh. So, anyway, Nickel City, great show. Oh, and then there's the Puzzle Fighter thing I have to tell you about. This is huge. Alright, so the rest of this episode is about Puzzle Fighters. If you don't play Puzzle Fighter, you're not going to get any of this technical jargon. So here's the deal with Puzzle Fighter, okay? <laughs> wow, why did I go all the way to Baskin? That's just dumb. Man, that was dumb. Dumb, dumb, dumb. Dumb Donald is so dumb. How dumb is he? He's so dumb that I'm going to have to make a left turn at Bascom. And I'm going to take like 20 minutes to get to Nickel City when it's a 10-minute drive. Ah. So here's the thing about Puzzle Fighter, all right? Let's say you're fighting and someone sends you something. You can counter it. You can break stuff and counter it. If you break stuff and send it over, they can break stuff afterward and counter it and send it all back. They don't even ever receive any. So it's an integral part of the game. However, there's an exception. That exception is if you get it all clear. Let's say I'm playing you, and you're, you know, Felicia or something, and I'm Morgan. doesn't really matter who. And I'm messing around over here, breaking shit. And let's say you're breaking shit too, okay? And let's say you broke a whole bunch, and here comes the 36. So I break something, I break everything, I get it all clear. But even with it all clear, it wasn't enough to get rid of all 36 things. So you're going to still send me, I don't know, 20. So I get my 20, but guess what? You get a little surprise. You get a 6. Now, in the first three minutes of the match, it's the only way that both people can receive something at the same time. After three minutes, of course, you can't counter anymore. That's just to get the round to end, because otherwise you could probably fight forever against certain people. So... And then if you get all clear a second time, it sends 12. And if you get all clear a third time, it sends 18, and so on. So getting multiple all clears is a good way to send shit to your opponent, even if your opponent is in the middle of breaking a lot of stuff. Because it is uncounterable. It is completely separate from breaking things and sending stuff over. It's a separate issue. However, I found an excuse for that, or an exception for that. I got to Devilot. Hooray for me, I unlocked Devilot. Well, I didn't unlock Devilot, but I got to fight Devilot because I did all the things. And I'm fighting Devilot, and Devilot's sending me, like, I don't know, a 40. And guess what? I happen to get an all clear before she sends it over. But you know what? She didn't get six. She didn't get the little bonus that you always give the other person when you get an all clear. Now, did that six counter? I don't know. Because this puzzle fighter, the top is cut off because the monitor's going. So I can't ever see the number I'm going to receive until I receive it. But, uh, so it's possible that the six and Sid countered it, but I don't think that's the case. I think that I got no reward for the all clear. Now, is it that you never get a reward for all clear against Devilot? Or is it you can't send the free six over to Devilot for getting an all clear if she's already sending you some? That I don't know. I've never done it before. But it's something for you guys to mess around with, and if you're as into Puzzle Fighter as some people are, you'll stand there trying to recreate this shit and figure it out. Where else are you going to see this? You're not going to see this anywhere. This is, this is my freaking research that, that can be the, the source for your, your next Puzzle Fighter thesis. But I've been playing this game for 12 and a half years, and I'm still finding out new shit about the game. Oh, by the way, I got to devil out with Ryu because I was originally Felicia and I lost to Ryu and that really annoyed me, so that's just the way it goes sometimes, you know? Sometimes that's just the way it goes. Man, why did I turn on Baskin? That was just so stupid. Alright, I'm taking, taking Dry Creek. Since I've already done everything else. So that's all the time we have for today. Visit us on the web at joelshitshow.com. Email joel at joelshitshow.com.